In this video, my friends, we're going to be looking at what I think is the best accessory if you've got a MacBook Pro which just has Thunderbolt connections, or in fact any computer just having those connections. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video about my new 2020 desk setup, which included my motorized desk, which was great. But one of the main things I changed was actually my computer. I went from a 2015 inch MacBook Pro to this, the latest 2016 inch. Now, that was great, but I'm missing all of the ports that were on that 2015 model. So there's no SD card slot, there's no USB, all you're getting is the four Thunderbolt connections, which are great, they do a lot of great things, but they do offer very restrictive use. It means that you have to use adapters. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been trying a whole host of different adapters. And in the end, I looked across at my computer and I actually had four of these things plugged in. Connecting two hard drives, connecting my monitor, my microphone, it was just crazy. So I wanted to get a different solution, one that would cover all of these things and would not cause me the issues that I've had previously. So I picked up this and it's a machine from Cal Digit and it's a Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now, before some of you keyboard warriors come out and say this thing isn't new, I know it's actually a couple of years old, but all of my research into what I needed to get led me to this device. Now, this retails, it's not cheap, guys. It retails for $229.95 in the UK and around $270 or $280 in the US. I will leave my latest links in the description for you. But what this does do is it offers you 15 ports of connectivity. It also gives you an 85 watt charging. So this thing will plug in and then it will charge your MacBook Pro as well. Now I'll go through the details of the specs in just a second and also the full connectivity. But setting this thing up is an absolute breeze. You get the choice to have it either horizontally, as I am here, or you can choose to have it vertically. And there are two rubber feet that are included and you can position those on the device, whichever you would prefer. You can then just connect up all of your peripherals to the cool digit device and then by a single Thunderbolt 3 connector, you will be able to charge and send data from your laptop and it works brilliantly. It means that you're not having to constantly undo all different cables. With the SD card slot on the front, you literally can push it in, it will grip it, and it really does feel like a nice connection so that you know that it's actually connected. You push it in to release it, and again, you're then ready to go. So this device is ideal for your permanent setup. Don't get me wrong, having one of these type of dongles to take away when you're traveling is definitely a good idea, but a permanent setup like this is definitely something that you want to avoid. So this will take care of all of that connectivity with just that one wire connected to your MacBook. Now the wires will stay nice and neat, they can stay permanently connected, you don't have to worry about taking those out at all, and you've just got the simple connection going to the laptop. Another problem that this has solved is drawing too much power from one of the Thunderbolt ports. Now I had a couple of hard drives connected to a dongle plugged into one of the ports and I kept on getting this message coming up saying that the disk was not ejected properly and when I investigated it, it just meant that I was drawing too much power from that single port and so therefore this has also solved that. In terms of connectivity, on the front you have an SD card reader, audio in and out, a USB 3.1 generation type C and also a 3.1 type A. On the reverse, this is where it gets interesting because you've got loads of connectivity here, guys. Okay, let me run through these quickly with you. There is a gigabit ethernet or ethernet, depending on where you live, connection, a digital optical audio and a USB 3.1 generation two type C connector. Now that's great for connecting ultra fast SSD storage, for instance. Now, if you are using older type USB devices, you'll be pleased that there are four type A connections. Now that's great for older hard drives, for instance, or maybe like a keyboard or mouse or any other peripheral. Now on the display side, there's a DisplayPort 1.2 which will connect up to a 4K or a 5K monitor and you've also got those Thunderbolt 3 connectors. Now they are 40 GBS and they'll connect to a host of laptop or Thunderbolt 3 devices. There's one that needs to be connected obviously to the computer and then in theory you can connect another one to another monitor so you can have two monitors running from this one device. So there's plenty of connections no matter what you need. 
So if you are looking for the very best connectivity for your MacBook and you want all of the connections and the peripherals attached, then you really ought to consider this, the Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus from Cull Digit. It's a great machine. It's not cheap, but I think it's worth every penny. The links are in the description, my friends. Thanks for watching this video as always, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next one.